know, Alpha M, that super manly YouTuber, said nobody ever. What's up, gentlemen? So let me get this out of the way up front. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with being perceived as feminine or being a little bit more feminine as a man. I am, however, saying that if you want to be perceived as more manly, then you got to stop doing the 10 things we're going over today. Starting with number one, which is excessive filters. Literally, you look like a woman in a lot of these pictures that I'm seeing. Guys, all of these filters that these women use to make themselves look a little sassier, a little more beautiful, a little less like beat up and rough, make you, you as a dude, look more feminine and literally like a woman. I have like said to my wife, I'm like, yo, check this picture out of so-and-so, right? She's like, oh my God, he looks like a woman. I'm like, I know, it's these filters. Gentlemen, say no to the overfiltration of your face. You also also need to say no to number two, which is excessive makeup. So men's makeup is becoming more of a thing. It's becoming a lot more mainstream. Companies like Warpaint, companies like Strix are making makeup for men. This is actually a concealer like tool pen thing from the company Strix, right? It looks kind of masculine. And generally speaking, what this is used for is like just like covering up like blemishes or like dark circles. Now, I feel like there's a fine line between covering up blemishes and dark circles and looking like you're wearing makeup. The third thing that makes men look more feminine is longer hair. Now, I'm not saying not to grow your hair out, but if you are somebody that wants to look more manly or masculine, just understand that as you let your hair grow, it's going to soften everything. And generally speaking, men with longer hair are perceived as more feminine than men with shorter cuts. Speaking of cuts, what do you think of this shirt, right? <laughs> it's a Henley. I got it from Cuts. It was their fall drop, guys. Sick, amazing. If you guys haven't checked out Cuts, now is the time because right now they are having their five-year anniversary sale. 25% off site-wide. A little bit more about them in a second. Number four is how you are sitting. Guys, this is a feminine way of sitting. Now, is it comfortable? Sure. Do I sit like this occasionally? Yes. But if you want to be perceived as more masculine, you need to actually spread a little bit. Man spread, right? The whole idea is to take up space. As men, when we actually sit and we are occupying more space, this is seen as a more dominant position, also more dominant body language. But if you're somebody that is sitting very small, this is something that typically women will do more than men. Knees together, gentlemen. This is the appropriate way that a lady sits, right? Nice and nice and proper because her mom's told her, yo, Brenda, if you sit there like the dudes, they're going to be able to see that you're not wearing any panties underneath your skirt. Oh yeah, Brenda? <laughs> what a vixen. Anyway, speaking of body language, we got to talk about number five, which is a handshake, as in a man shake. I cannot stress to you the importance of developing an incredible handshake, one that is firm, not too aggressive aggressive, but not like super soft and like wimpy. Now, a little handshake pro tip. What I recommend is practice, whether or not it's with your dad, your mom, your boy, your weird uncle Barry. <laughs> Actually, not Barry. I, I, I know where those hands have been. Oh, mama. Practice. Practice shaking hands with a friend or a family member so that you get in the habit of shaking hands like a man. The sixth thing that if you own and are rocking, you are definitely looking feminine, and that is big, baggy clothing or shirts. Big, baggy, oversized clothing makes you look more feminine, and the reason is pretty simple. Because it makes you look small, it makes you look more dainty, as opposed to wearing something that actually fits you properly and looks incredible, showing off the fact that you've got a man masculine body. It's all about creating that visual V, guys. Shoulders broad down, tapering to your waist. And that is one of the reasons why I love the clothing brand Cuts so much. Their clothing, their cut, their silhouette is not only super clean and sexy, it is incredibly masculine, all right? These Henleys are perfection. Check it out. Here's another perfect example, right? The ba basic white t-shirt that I just built and got from Cuts, right? I went with a crew neck, short sleeve, and look how perfect these sleeves are, right? As opposed to off-the-rack boxy t-shirts, these sleeves are perfect, all right? They're going to expose a little bit of tricep, making your arms look more masculine, more manly, and bigger, honestly, all right? And then the fit, right? Nice and snug to the chest and the shoulders, making my shoulders appear broad, and then it tapers down to my waist. Literally, it is a perfect 
t-shirt right now. The thing that you're going to notice with cuts, and the reason why I love them so much, you get to basically like build your specific shirt, right? You get to pick the collar, the sleeve length, and also the hem. You've got a few different options to choose from, but right now, like I mentioned earlier in the video, they are having their five-year anniversary sale. It is for a limited time, and you're going to get 25% off site-wide. Guys, this sale is the biggest sale I've ever seen cuts have, and it is site-wide. Not only do they have their classic cuts, you know, the whites, the blacks. They also have launched some new, like, sexy drops. Check it out. The limited edition anniversary hoodie, right? I absolutely freaked out when I saw this, all right? I'm a sucker for, like, vintage-inspired, like, gear, right? And this has an old-school feel with that chenille C, right, on the chest, all right? Color, black, the fit, absolutely flawless. They also are dropping these vintage-inspired basketball shorts, all right? But these things are upgraded. They've got a more, like, aesthetic silhouette. They're not just like big and baggy and boxy. These things are amazing, but for a limited time. Guys, right, hit the link down below and go check out Cuts and see why I love them so much. I promise you're going to love them as much as I do. And with that discount, limited time, anniversary sale, you're going to get 25% off site-wide, which is the best deal I've ever seen. Guys, but do not wait because they are going to sell out. A lot of the things that they dropped are limited in terms of the colors and quantity, but if you find something you love, you better grab it because they do sell out of the popular colors, the popular styles and sizes. Guys, hit the link down below. Check out Cuts. These shirts are amazing, perfect. And for 25% off, it is a huge style no-brainer. The seventh thing that makes guys look feminine is over manscaping or grooming, all right? Now, what I'm talking about is your body hair, right? Now, I know that I'm always talking about, yeah, take it down, shave it short, gentlemen. Now, the deal is, if you got a big monster man bush, definitely take the bulk down so Big Al looks massive and grooming. Grande. But if you got a lot of body hair and you are shaving every hair off of your body like I do, you look feminine. Just know that you look more feminine. You know, I shave my legs. Now you're like, yo, Alf, you shaved your legs? What are you, a chick? That's so gay. Which is what I've heard from a lot of people when they're like, you shave your legs? Like, why do you shave your legs? That's what chicks do. It's because it's what I prefer. You know, I got into it when I started doing bodybuilding and I just liked it better because it felt cleaner. But I'm just letting you know that if you are somebody that removes all of your body hair, it is definitely a more feminine look. Now, speaking of feminine looks, if you are overly grooming or arching your eyebrows, this is one of, if not the most feminine thing a dude can do. I'm not saying not to clean them up a little bit, but if you're somebody that makes them super thin or spaced apart, guys, it's making you look super feminine. Eyebrows are supposed to have a little bit of substance, a little bit of structure, but if you are overly arching, you're overly shaving, making them too thin, it definitely makes you look like a chick. Since we're talking about facial hair, let's talk about facial features, which is the next thing that makes men look more feminine, and that is having very petite or small facial features like nose and lips. Men with small, petite facial features, generally speaking, will look a little bit more feminine. Also, if you've got small, little tiny hands or small, tiny little feet, this also makes you look a little bit more feminine. Now, things that you can do is grow some facial hair to help balance and counteract the fact that you may have a small mouth or a small nose. Something else you can do is wear a pair of frames with a little structure, a little substance. Wearing too many rings also is a more feminine look, in my opinion. Wearing a ton of bracelets, a ton of chains, a ton of necklaces. Basically, a lot of accessories is going to make you look a little bit more feminine. Now, there are certain guys that pull it off that look amazing, but these guys are men among men, and they don't give a shit what you think. And they probably could steal your girl because they're bad boys. Right now, here's the deal. The one thing I got to talk about, number 10, is actually your jeans, as in super skinny, tight jeans that make you look like a girl from the back. So I literally have seen dudes, right, from the back that I didn't know originally were dudes. And I was actually like, damn, look, 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 at, the, look at the booty on that one, right? And then all of a sudden they'll turn around and he's got like a beard. Die! Ah, hey, hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> nice glutes! And that's it, gentlemen. Ten things that make men look feminine, in my opinion. All right, now, something else that is a little bit more feminine of a characteristic typically is your height, all right? I'm a short dude, and I know that being short, that's something that is perceived as a little bit more feminine than somebody that is six foot two, 250 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal. Unfortunately, I can't change that, and neither can you. But the things we talked about today, you definitely can. So if you don't wanna look feminine, you don't have to. Not that there's anything wrong, but if you don't want to, you don't have to.